Okay, so here is how I would derive the energy graph for a vertical spring mass system in Aztec Jam. In fact, I have tried to look at different references. This is one of the video that I watched before and I actually find out that there, there was some issue. So that's why I deliberately want to derive it myself. And the main problem with this video is that, um, you know, th this guy tried to also do the same thing, uh, but then it's not as that quantitative that I will show you later on. Um, and also there's an assumption where if you try to watch that video, I'll put a link in the description below, by the way. Um, he tried to assume the extension, the natural extension, like when you hang the mass um, in the equilibrium point, then there's already an extension. So that extension would be the same as the amplitude that you have for your simple harmonic motion. But then you, I don't think that's something you would want to do because uh, that is a special case. We should allow us to have the amplitude of any value. Okay, um, otherwise this graph is only correct at that particular extension, but then that's not beautiful at all. So uh, I would prefer using a general value for amplitude. So um, I hope I didn't make any mistake. Okay, I, I keep thinking whether or not I did anything wrong, but then uh, I hope I didn't. Okay, so please point out if I make any mistake or if you don't understand anything. Before I start to show you my work, I want to emphasize one thing, and that is I know there is an equation in chapter 9 for HL student. Uh, you guys would learn about an equation about kinetic energy of exactly the same thing. And the expression is like here, half m omega square bracket x log square minus x square. I know this equation, of course, but then uh, since I want to show the SL student, you know, how you can enjoy improving it yourself, without knowing this uh, or using the differentiation or sine cosine function uh, I'll try to use another approach so I'll try to find out the expression for kg using the conservation of energy ideas okay so I have actually completed everything already but I'll show you one by one so uh, just look at what I pointed to you so first of all I consider you know all the cases where when you have uh, you know, just the spring itself with the length, natural length L, and then you, when you hang the mass, it will extend to the equilibrium point, which the extension I'll call E. And at this point, because tension equal to weight, so mg equals to k times E, uh, because this is Hooke's law and this is uh, weight expression simply. And when you have the extreme case, I, I, I started to think about, uh, you know, the extreme case because that is easier instead of a general case. So that's something you can do as well when you try to solve a certain problem in physics. So I'm thinking at a lower point, then you will be moved for the whole amplitude, x log to the lowest point. And so at this point, k is zero because it's not moving. I mean, having zero velocity. Uh, GPE will be zero because I simply set this line, the bottom line here, as as zero zero ben benchmark, and then for elastic potential energy, it will be measured from the natural length. So this is the main difference between my uh, deriving work and the video I just showed you earlier. Cause um, the elastic potential energy should be measured from its natural length not equilibrium okay um, I mean if you think about the graph that we talk about in in the past in chapter 2 force and displacement this is if, if the spring follow Hooke's law then you should measure from the ori origin and then you go to the whatever uh, extension in total that you have and the area under the line is the work done but then if you only measure from equilibrium, then it is like you measure from a certain point. So you are more like measuring an area for the trapezoid instead of a triangle. So the equation would not apply directly. Okay, so back here, um, the equation that I put down there for is half k extension square. So the extension is x log and also the e add together. So the whole, this whole length and then square of course. 
and when the mass move to the highest point then again I would not assume x log that means the amplitude will be the same as the natural extension e because I want to be more general simply so uh, for KD is again zero for GPD because I set the bottom to be zero and now you have gone through twice of the amplitude so it will be MGH H is going to be 2x log and again I try to use the expression I find MG equals to KE earlier and so I can change this MG to this KE so the final expression for the GP at this point is going to be KE 2x log okay will be useful for you know later comparison as for elastic potential energy it's going to be half kx squared well i mean x as in extension in general but then here it's going to be x log minus e because if you think about uh, the actual length then you would not have the everything right i mean you you only have here to be e again oops e again and then this is x log so the one the actual thing that you actually like compress this is not even extension. this is compression think about this is l right so this part is going to be x log minus e so that's what we get here x log minus e uh, to the power of 2 okay so these are the two extreme point and it's kind of a warm up, warm up actually so it's not like very very useful actually so let's think about a more general case here I have the length, natural length L uh, the extension to equilibrium E and also X is the actual um, extension from the equilibrium and also the displacement you want to express in the X axis as well I took downward to be positive and so in this case then the GPD is going to be mg X log minus X and it may be a bit confusing but if you think about that right let's say that much is x log and then remember at the bottom this is when gp is equal to zero so the gp that you only have like the, the height that you only can't see is actually this one okay this one so that's why it's x log minus x instead so uh, i can again change mg into kd as expression so eventually I get this expression for EPD is going to be simply these two add together so the E and also the X add together because once again we measure from the natural length and for KD like I said I use the conservation of energy idea to find out the expression I don't want to use you know that you know the new equation that uh, you don't know so that's why I I would say e total by the way e total is simply this one right because if you look at this 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 is all this is when you first pull the mass down and that's all the elastic potential energy that you have and this is at the bottom as well so that is the total energy already and then I'll minus the GPD at this expression and also the EPE for this expression when you have moved X displacement from the equilibrium so um, here will just be some algebra work and uh, you'll find out there are a few terms you can cancel it out uh, if you like to check you can pause the video and check it out eventually it's actually very satisfying right? I mean when I find this it's like I find part of the beauty a puzzle of beauty in the world you find out the expression is simply this one half k x log square minus half k x square okay I mean you can combine them if you like to but then I'll keep it like this because obviously this is going to be a constant and then the expression the second part of the expression this would depends on x simply so I mean this is easy enough for me to um, look at the situation and the graph and so now we are going to draw the graph so don't worry I'll, I'll do it one by one so the easiest one that you can do should be GPD and again let's look at GPD expression you can see obviously it is a linear line okay because I mean if you look at the equation here this is a linear line um, when you have the extreme point then we can look back to you know the one that we, we did earlier so it was zero and also ke2x log so that's why I go from 
0 to ke to x log here and I call this high point this is low point okay so this is the straight line that you draw and when you are at equilibrium you still have GPE and that is half of it because you have gone through half of the uh, I mean not half but one of the amplitude x log so that's why the value is going to be ke x log right here okay just to show you hopefully more in scale ratio the next thing that I would like to do is going to be elastic potential energy and you can see the shape is going to be a bit you know not symmetrical and that's very normal because uh, like I said I measure it from the natural length and also uh, we don't assume x log that means the amplitude is the same as the e extension like the original extension that you have so that's why uh, it will look like that and so uh, the one thing that you can already see from the expression that we find out this one right in, in EPE of course is that it will become zero when x equal to negative e right because if you look at this right this is zero when x equal to negative e so that's why when it is negative e this value should be exactly zero why because this is when you go back to here all right when you hit or or, or here all right when you hit the natural length right not deliberately because I mean if the amplitude is longer than this E then then there must be a time where you pass through that particular point and the spring at that position is just natural length exactly so at that point the elastic potential energy is going to be zero so that's why this is certainly one point you want to ensure uh, it's like anchor here and then when you draw you must pass through this point the other thing that I could find out is again I'm uh, using you know the work that I did here this is the expression for the high point this is expression for the lower point and again this is the total by the way and so that's why this is going to be higher on the right hand side and this side is going to be lower and when I try to draw it I try to keep this all right this height going to be the same as this okay because that should make up the total so that uh, the total is again going to be constant right here okay and of course this should be a quadratic equation still but there is a quadratic equation that got shipped by E and that's why it can uh, you can see from the equation itself and lastly for kinetic energy and that is going to be expression this expression and then one thing that again you can see is when x equals to zero it is when the whole ke become the largest and that makes sense because when x is zero that means the mass is at the equilibrium and according to what we learned earlier this is when the mass is having the greatest magnitude of velocity so uh, here that's why it should be the greatest right at this point and of course at the two end when you reach the amplitude it will be zero so zero here and zero here and so the whole shape is going to be again a quadratic equation a curve and when you try to add all these three energies all together it should reach right the constant total energy so this is uh, the graph that I believe it should look like if anyone find out any mistake that I make on you know the the work here please feel free to point it out I yeah I actually didn't cross check any anything else I don't I don't know I mean I can't I can't really find uh, reference maybe I didn't spend enough time but if you find out anything wrong please point it out and I would happy you know to correct this so here you have it I hope you finally understand why the vertical spring mass system is much more complicated than the horizontal one because of the GPD and also you know the offset of the equilibrium but I hope the whole process although it's painful you enjoy it and this again is the best part in physics I hope you enjoy learning physics with me if you do so please hit the like button now and subscribe to my channel 
I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.